From the keyboard to the boardroom, this is the business of esports. This is Paul Dewalibi. I'm here live at the Next World Forum with CNBC Arabia. I'm here with the most amazing guest, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal, Chairman of the Saudi Esports Federation. Amazing conference you've put on here. Amazing what the Saudi Esports Federation has done. I'm curious, what does all of this lead to? Where is this building towards? I think that's the big question in everyone's mind, which is how do you move off of all the success here and then what's next? When we talk about the next world, I mean, what we're talking about is the next world for the global industry and the global community. What has been amazing for me is meeting and talking to a lot of the, the people who are here, really bringing people together from different walks of life, different communities, different angles, different points of views. Because when you get people like that to start talking, that's how you can push through some of those, those boundaries, some of those glass, uh, glass ceilings. What's exciting is putting people together to start putting those steps to what's happening in the future and making sure that we, what we do is good for the whole industry as a global community. Ideas and bringing people together is a big part of you know, building success and building an ecosystem. How does what you're doing, your work with the Saudi Esports Federation, fit into the Vision 2030 in general, which I think is an incredibly grand vision for the kingdom? The great thing about uh, the vision and you know, the different things that are happening is what we've put is not something set in stone. We've put a set of guidelines, a set of KPIs to make sure that we're hitting our targets and moving on the right path, diverting away from a focus on oil and gas to really building something that is more reflective of what the Saudi community is. One of our KPIs, one of our stated goals is by 2030 that the gaming and esports industries will be 1% of the Saudi GDP, wow. uh, which is a big target. We have you know, over 68% of the population consider themselves gamers. The majority of those want a path to work in this as an industry. But one of our biggest prides is showcasing that you have a career path in this industry no matter what you like to do, no matter what you're passionate about. Yeah. You know, maybe you're not you know, a top gamer, maybe you can't compete as a player, but you can be in production, yeah. you can be a commentator, you can be an interviewer, you can be uh, you know, in finance, you can be an investor. I mean, there's so many paths that you can take, and this is an industry. And that's what we want to grow here. We want to look at this industry holistically, so that we're giving an opportunity to the young men and women in this country to really stake their claim, but also an opportunity to young men and women around the world to showcase what you can do, how we can replicate this in other areas, how people can come here and have a base, but also how can we can inspire others to do the same. And we're very lucky to have the support from the top down, but also from the bottom up, from every member of the community. I mean, my proudest moment was during this latest Gamers 8, having young men and women come up and say, you know, how much, not that they enjoyed the, the tournament, but how proud they were that they not just get to enjoy it, but get to enjoy it here. Yeah. And I'd, I'd like to see that happen in other places as well. I mean, I was blown away. I actually visited Gamers 8 a couple of times. Unbelievable what you guys have done there. Blown away. This is an audience that spans not just Saudi Arabia, but the GCC in general. What's your message to sort of people who are maybe not in the gaming industry, how the rise of gaming and esports within the kingdom may benefit everybody in the region as a whole? I mean, this is an industry that's bigger than music and film combined, globally. This is an industry regionally that's growing over 30% year on year. The growth opportunity here is there. The investment opportunities are there. Our region as a region is at an inflex point for growth. It's a region that has been underserved, however, has high internet penetration across, the GCC is over 90%, but most of the, the MENA region is high internet penetration. Young populations, so high number of gamers. 5G rollouts have been very high. You know, GCC especially, but MENA region in total. Mobile gaming is big, but it's also a dedicated community of young men and women that are ready to take that leap, whether it's as gamers or in, as an industry. And I think it's, it's that time, it's not getting on a bandwagon, it's doing the right fiscal duty. And if you're going to do that, gaming, as you heard from uh, projects like Neom and Gidea, gaming is an important part of the world industries moving forward. It's an important part of the diversity that's happening in Saudi. Uh, and this is something that I think more people need to not just get behind, but jump on board and move forward with. I've said many times, and if you look at the numbers, gaming at some point in the future becomes the biggest industry on the planet, period. 
So great to see you and Saudi Arabia leading the way in that context. Saudi Arabia has been making a big push in terms of sports in general. How are you interfacing with those efforts and how is the relationship between what's going on here from a traditional sports front and esports and how are you cooperating? Well, we work very closely. In fact, we were created as a federation underneath the Olympic Committee. Okay. So we work very closely hand in hand with our partners, whether that's doing a gaming event before a, a traditional sports event just to bring in more of the youth or doing a sports activation alongside our esports events to really showcase the physical nature. And that's one of the things that we think is very important. You know, people forget that you know, the physical is a big aspect of what you're doing in the digital. There was a study done by the Sports Medicine University in Hamburg, if I'm not mistaken, that said during big tournaments, the heart rates of competitors was between 160 to 180, which is equivalent to a marathon runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cortisol levels in their blood is equivalent to F1 drivers. Yeah. So we as esports players and gamers have to start taking ourselves seriously as athletes, which they are. And we're seeing that internationally in different tournaments and different ideas and how having that physical aspect is affecting and improving their digital aspect but also a focus on mental health you know being on stage in front of all these people you know some of these players are doing five six hundred you know actions per minute which is absurd it's not just about talent it's about preserving your physical health making sure you have the mental health to be able to sustain that over long periods of time uh, and working together with our community and we're we're launching a number of initiatives locally to build that know-how with the local team so that they have the best way and the best avenue to compete internationally. But it's something that we're very proud of and it's linking the physical and the digital. And as things move to the future, the two are coming together, traditional sports and virtual sports. If you're not focused on the physical and the mental, I think you're losing out. Your Highness, one last thing. Anything for us to look forward to? Any big announcements coming at Next World Forum here? Anything you want to <laughs> tease? Or <laughs> There's you know, when you bring this many great minds together, there's bound to be some great things that come out of this. I will be as excited to announce anything that comes out of this when it's ready. One of the things I don't like to do is I don't like to overstep uh, and say something that, you know, I'm not sure when it will happen. There's many big things that are in the pipeline. You heard some of them today yep. with Neom having gamer, gaming at the center, with Gadia having a gaming district. Uh, those are things that were announced today that weren't known previously. Uh, and there's many more things that are in the pipeline and many more things to be excited about, not just locally, but internationally. Your Highness, amazing what you guys are doing. Uh, you know, can't wait to see what you're going to announce and what's next here. But thank you so much for being on. Thank you very much. Pleasure.